But having spent the day as caravanners, we did at least know how we should be testing our cars. So we put the Stig into the VW, pitched it up to a caravan and asked him to set a lap time. Three, two, one, go! What just fell over in there? Scrabble. <laughs> Now, we should explain the Volkswagen has a part-time four-wheel drive system which will cut in should sensors detect he's about to lose control. And it probably is there. Here we go. Now it'll be feeding power to the back end as well. He's through. He's through. through. He's looking good there, looking good. Coming up to Chicago. It's wobbly! He's very wobbly there! Oh, look at that! He's completely sideways. He's gathered it up with an armful of oppo, which is what you should do if that happens. It's a five-wheel drift! Top speed of the Tiguan with the caravan attached is just 70 miles an hour. Whoa! But look at that. This, I think, is an object lesson for caravanners. There's no need to dawdle. You really can get your foot down. The wheel? No! It's come off! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's still going. No, he is. Move back. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming in a shower of sparks towards the line. And across the line. Two minutes, 15.82. So there we are. Next, it was the turn of the Mazda. Three, two, one. Right, now we should bear in mind the Mazda has 10 more horsepowers uh -huh. than the Volkswagen. It has, I think, 30 or 40 more torques. In theory, there, he should be faster. However, smoke Ooh, coming off the smoke brakes. Smoke pouring off the brakes. Whoa! Having declared the Tiguan the victor by default, we took the stick to the tip and threw him away. 